Hey everyone, Ruben here, Kinder Dog PDX. Uh, we are making a new series of videos for our like basic how-to training. We have quite a few new people following the page, and so I thought this would be a perfect time to just reintroduce some of the basics. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do, uh, if you haven't already done this, if you're trying to get onto a training program with your dog, uh, we always start off with dogs on the Herm Springer prong collar. Um, so the prong collar looks like so if you're not familiar with it. Um, sometimes referred to as a pinch collar. Uh, you know, lately we listen to podcasts, you know, we're trying to always learn. This was referred to as a pressure collar. And I find that is way more appropriate for this because uh, sometimes people call it a correction collar or a pinch collar. Well, it's not really pinching, um, but it is applying pressure, you know, and that is the main function of this collar is to apply pressure and then release pressure. Yes, it can be used to correct things, um, but the first and foremost, it is used to give guidance to the dog. So this one here is a 2.25 millimeter collar. This is one that we recommend for most dogs. It's rare that we put on the 3.0 millimeter. Those ones are a little bit bigger. We find these are much easier to uh, put on and take off. And they're just a little bit smaller, you know, so we, we just prefer these ones. And like I said, most of the dogs that come through here leave on a prong collar of this size. So when you are sizing this collar up, um, with if you get this size, you're going to probably need to get uh, extra links. But the collar should fit up high on the dog's neck, right behind the ears, okay? We want to do this because that's how we're going to have the most control over the dog's head. If we can control the head, we can control the body, and which we can also control the mind. So all of those things are working to help us try to tackle any of the behavior problems that we are experiencing. So the way this comes on and goes off, you have to take it apart at the links. So we have uh, the top prong here, and I like to take it off at the top and at either one of these two sides because this way when I am putting it on the dog inside of the kennel, it's already in the right position and I don't need to twist it around or anything like that. I just wanna open it up, get it on the dog and be one and done kind of thing, okay? So again, we also want to make sure that it's fitting up high on the neck. As you're looking at this, you wanna make sure that there is a nice triangle on the collar. Sometimes it can get twisted as you're putting it on. You wanna prevent that. So take your time, make sure there is a nice triangle. Your leash will clip to the D-ring at the top of the collar. And then we usually use a safety clip that goes from this middle O-ring to the dog's flat buckle collar. This is because the collar can, some, I have never had it happen, but it is possible that it could happen that the collar comes disengaged, your dog will be attached via the safety line, attached to their flat buckle collar, that they will still be with you. And then you can take the time to re-put this collar back on, okay? So again, your leash clips to the D-ring, the, the safety clip goes to the O-ring. We don't wanna mix those two things up because it will mess with how the collar functions. So when we're putting this on our dog, we have Mayawa here to help us. So again, we wanna have it high up on the neck. So let me turn her around a little bit. So I'm gonna put this on. Like so, okay? When I put this on her, I wanna put just a few fingers underneath it. I don't know if you can see that really well but I wanna be able to get a couple fingers underneath her collar, okay? That means it's gonna be sized right. It's not gonna slip down too much. Too much give, if it looks like a Mr. T necklace,
then it's not going to have the pressure that we need it to have because then the um, the top points here are going to touch each other and then there's no pressure being given so we want it to be able to like turn on like so and then release as needed okay so again it's going to go up high on the neck right behind the ears that is the prong collar and how to fit it um, again you know and also we want to keep this little tab usually right down the middle of the collar this is going to apply even pressure on both sides rather than all the links going in one direction the pressure is going to be off centered a little bit so this little middle tab should stay on the bottom so that the pressure is going evenly around the dog's neck okay so this is the prong collar 2.25 millimeter Herm Springer. You can get them on Amazon. I order ours from a website called Paulmark. Um, so yeah, this is, um, this is the basic training tool that we use to get the dog used to following the leash. All right, so this is the first video. Hope this uh, is helpful for you all. And if you have any questions about it, definitely feel free to leave those in the comments and we will see you on the next video.